Possessing world-class skill, a never-say-die attitude and a bullet-like left foot, the fiery Christo is the most celebrated player to come out of Korea. Playing for CSKA Sofia, Stoichkov was a star at home before making local history in 1990 when he transferred to Barcelona for $4.5 million, an unheard of sum in post-communist Eastern Europe. Now Stoichkov, oh, he got through the tackle of Rodondo way too easily, it's opened up for him. And you just can't give a fella like Christo Stoichkov that sort of room in the box. Over the next four years, the Bulgarians' explosive acceleration, unpredictable shooting on goal, and specialty free kicks would thrill the fans at the new camp. In his first season, Stoichkov justified his high price tag when finding the back of the net 17 times in 32 matches. And it was goals like these that helped Barcelona win the league title, the Super Cup, the European Super Cup, and the European Championship. Stoichkov, Stoichkov drives! Stoichkov with the opening goal. A piece of play by the Bulgarian. Season 92-93 was a carbon copy. The Bulgarian bombshell scored 20 goals as Barcelona collected another league title. During this period, Stoichkov was at the peak of his powers. The combination of explosive acceleration, his unpredictable shooting on goal, and a relentless attitude was recognized by his peers when he finished runner-up to Marco van Basten in the European Player of the Year award. Barcelona's incredible run of success continued the following season as Stoichkov and his illustrious teammates clinched their third consecutive league title. The Bulgarian was again a major contributor with 16 important goals. After making his debut in 1987, the attacking winger became an integral part of the national team, but without doubt the 1994 World Cup was the highlight of his international career. Three goals in the group matches, followed by a brilliant individual effort against Mexico to put Bulgaria into the quarter-finals against the powerful Germans. The sort of pace here that Stoichkov has. Oh, he's rammed it in. Christo Stoichkov, a classic counter-attack. The Minnows shocked the world with their 2-1 defeat of Germany with Stoichkov scoring again. Almost single-handedly, he carried the team semi finals of Italy. But that's where Bulgaria's dream run ended. With six goals, Stoichkov won the Golden Boot Award as the tournament's top scorer. For his efforts with club and country, Stoichkov became the first Bulgarian to win the prestigious Golden Ball for European Player of the Year and finished runner-up to Romario as FIFA's World Player of the Year in 1994. In the domestic season following the World Cup, Stoichkov appeared 27 times for Barcelona, scoring nine goals. They were the dominant team of that era and went on to win an amazing fourth consecutive league title. However, all was not well with the temperamental Bulgarian, whose spell with the Spanish giants had been peppered by frequent rows and disciplinary problems. After four glorious seasons, he was sold to Parma for a massive $15 million. Buying the Bulgarian proved to be a disappointing result for the Italian club, as Stoichkov returned a meagre five goals in his only season. Stoichkov's unhappy stint at Parma ended when Barcelona bought him back for just over three million dollars and he returned to the new camp for another two years. However, Stoichkov failed to recapture his brilliant form and despite his wonderful gifts on the field, trouble was never far behind. But what would a genius be without a little disharmony to keep matters lively? At France 98, Bulgaria fielded the core of the team that had performed so admirably four years before, but they failed to progress past the group stage. For Stoichkov, the end of a great international career was beckoning. It came a year later in a European Championship qualifier against England, but the gift player didn't leave without making his mark. From superbly taken left foot free kick, Georgi Markov headed home. After 17 years, 84 games and 37 goals for his country, Christo Stoichkov retired from the international arena. Stoichkov was now in the twilight of his career. 
the journeyman was loaned to the Saudi club Al Nassar and led them to victory in the Asian Cup Winners' Cup when he scored the only goal. At the age of 33, the Bulgarian was invited to play for two seasons in the USA's fledgling Major League Soccer. Stoichkov was one of several big-name players signed with the idea of raising the profile of football in America. His glory days may have been behind him, but now and again he was able to reproduce a touch of brilliance. Those who saw Stoichkov play will remember him as a brave warrior with a never-say-die attitude. Without doubt, the Bulgarian bombshell was one of the most entertaining players football has ever seen.